half. When it comes to 800, we draw equal. And when it comes to 400, which is pure sprinting, we draw twice. So if you're doing 200s, you would draw 400 recovery, twice the distance of the repetition. This is very important because in a 5K, which is 12 and a half laps of an hour break, you do not have a cup of tea and a bun after every repetition. Every 400, you have to stop. It's relentless training. 25, 10K, 25 laps, you don't stop. You've got to get used to, incidentally, 10K, and the, the rest there is 1 16th. So if you're doing repetition miles, six times a mile, you only draw 100 meters. Draw 100 meters repetition. This is one of the problems with our 10K runners. They don't like short rest. Get something like Gabriel Selassie in uh, Canada. 60, 50, 50 times 400, 30 seconds rest. That's what I call a training session. You ask somebody who doesn't do 50 times 400, the 30 seconds rest, they will, they will drop dead. So this one sixteenth. That's an important thing to remember. Now, <coughs> what about five k? What about uh, five place work in the winter? Well, the winter should be divided into three sections. I would remind you that I coach the only double silver world cross country medalist for the last 25 years, Tim Hutchins, 1984, 1989. Now, I mention that because this, was, this is the sort of training they did. I also mention it, I should mention, that an athlete's success, an endurance athlete's success is 90% down to the athlete and 10% to the coach, not 90% down to the coach 10% the athlete, as some people would think. It might be different from the age of 14 to 18. The coach relation, coach athlete relationship could be 50 50. But once an athlete reaches 18, he doesn't know what's going on, uh, and there's not much hope for him. The athlete has to train diligently and intelligently, the athlete has to race intelligently and courageously. The athlete has to eat nutritional meals. The athlete has to get, ensure they get adequate sleep and also to ensure an, a moderate life. We did, me, we did have a very good endurance runner many years ago, very good endurance runner, who after every race got paralytic Drunk. <laughs> Every race was paralytically drunk. And you can get away with that if you're fit for two years. You can get away for two years. After two years, the game used to take us. So he was a good athlete, could have been a great athlete, but will go down in history as a good athlete and a consumer of colossal amounts of beer on uh, every conceivable occasion. <laughs> <laughs>